Again, he brought us out. He brought us out of the darkness and into the light. He brought us out of the darkness and into the light. He has lifted our blindness and gave us his sight. He brought us out of the darkness and into the light. daughters and sons we have entered communion with the three in one we are no longer slaves we are daughters and sons Sing out to him this morning. And oh, sing, no love is greater. And no love is greater. And no love is stronger. And all eyes are on you. For you have redeemed our soul. into the light 
He brought us out of the darkness and into the light He has lifted up blindness and gave us His sight He brought us out of the darkness and into the light God. Oh, we thank you for that. We thank you for bringing us out. Setting us into your light, into your goodness. No longer slaves.
victory that you've won through your son, taking on death, taking us in him, into that grave, so that we can rise again, and have life in you.
are alive, God, and you're living in us. You've made a home inside of those who placed faith in Christ, and you have become life. You have become life in all things, Jesus. And we're thankful that today we can submit ourselves to you and say, Jesus, you are the Lion of Judah. You are the roaring one. You're the one defending us. You're fighting our battles, God. We don't have to fight anymore. We get to let you fight every battle that we face. God, for every victory that we're longing for, everything that we believe is good in Jesus, you get to do it for us and we don't have to earn it. In fact, we can't earn it. You're too good to do that. You say, let it all be me. Let it all be my strength. Let it all be my power. Let it all be my love in you. That's showing my goodness to you. So God, we say your goodness abounds in us today. Your presence is good and we want to stay here. So Father, we welcome you. And we'll just take a minute, God, and just want to invite everyone. Just, just, just pray out loud. Pray whatever it is that God has on your heart. Maybe there's a victory you're waiting for. There's something specific that you've been wanting to see God do. You believe it's good in him, to him. And let's just pray one voice. Just begin to pray whatever prayer is in your heart right now. Let's just pray. Let's just pray and invite the Lord into that space. the authority to pray because of Jesus. We have the invitation to pray because of Jesus. So Father, we offer these prayers to you. We thank you for meeting us in them. In Jesus' name. As we continue to worship, we have the special privilege that Jesus gave us of taking the Eucharist, the communion, juice or wine representing Christ's blood and bread that represents Christ's flesh. And it's such a precious gift that Jesus gave to us in giving his own body. As Bethany was worshiping and praying, there's this picture that Romans 6 talks about that says that where Christ was, was actually crucified and buried, so we who are in Jesus were also crucified and buried in the flesh. It goes on to say that if Christ was buried and we're a part of that burial, our flesh was actually crucified. That means the the power of sin and dead works was crushed when Jesus was crushed. Then so shall we be resurrected as he was resurrected. That's good news. This means the life he now lives is the life that we live in Jesus. Oh, this is a good day to celebrate family. We've got a lot to be thankful for. Everything we have is in Jesus. So when we take communion, we're remembering Christ's offering of the replacement he was where it should have been me. We say, I agree, Jesus, with your full sacrifice and your full resurrection, that now when I partake, I'm now not only dead in my sin, I'm also resurrected into new life. Wow. So as we prepare to take communion this morning, I'm going to ask Pastor John and if there are some elders here, come on up and we're going to hand out the elements. Um, I would ask that you just take a moment with God and give an account of your heart with him. It's always good to do that. God doesn't change us through condemnation. (laughs) He changes us through love and mercy and kindness and conviction, which is truth, which reminds us of who we were truly destined to be. That's how good he is. So as you're preparing your hearts, just take a moment with the Lord and have him take a look at your heart. Maybe you need to connect and lay some things down before him. And communion is for those who know Jesus. If you don't know Jesus today, I want to welcome you into the family. If what you've been feeling, what you've been hearing is stirring up your faith or something exciting in your heart and you want to have that that intimate, personal friendship with Jesus, then you can take a moment right now and, and say, Jesus, I just want you to be king. If, you, if you're here today and you don't have someone who's leading your life that you can trust, 
and you've found that leading your own life doesn't turn out the way you thought it would. You want to be a son, a friend of God, a daughter of God, then today you just welcome Jesus. Say, Jesus, I just want you to be king, but that has to be your own choice. There's no secret prayer. Just welcome him. Say, God, I want you to be king. So as you take this moment, prepare your hearts. As you're ready, come on up and take of the elements. And I'm going to read this passage as we prepare. Scripture says this, The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So God, we offer you this time and we continue to worship. Come on up and take of the elements when you're ready. Devotion poured out. 
Do you? 